All right, gonna master my inner, my inner Peter McKinnon for this video. Just, uh, just really uh, give it my all. And uh, all right, um, I think we're gonna start by doing his like iconic, you know, his iconic thing. Like, have you ever seen a video? You've probably seen a video. You're, you've definitely seen a video. If you're watching this video, you've more than likely seen a video. But let's uh, let's give it one, one, one hot crack. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and we'll 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 stop there. <sighs> Welcome back to yet another video today. I, I wanted to talk about the microphone I think you should get 100%. If you are going to be making videos, if you need an on-camera microphone to you know, mount on top of your camera and start shooting, just run and gun gorilla style, I think you should skip over the Video Mic Pro Plus and instead get the Rode Video Mic NTG. Something I've noticed on YouTube, something I've noticed in my immediate friend groups of photographers and filmmakers, even people online, I've noticed that a lot of people gravitate and people keep talking about the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which don't get me wrong, it's a great microphone, especially for the time of like 20, 2017, 2018 is about where that mic was like at its peak. Um, but the fact that it still remains very high and very highly regarded, it kind of annoys me. Not because I think it's a bad microphone at all, but because I think there's a better microphone that does more for the same price. That's, that's what kills me. All right, so this is the microphone that I use and I've been using ever since I started filmmaking and photography and well, not really so much photography, mostly the filmmaking part, but ever since I started filmmaking, I've used this mic and actually, in fact, I have two of them because this one, this one here, the mic input got a little bugged and I, I lost my receipt so I couldn't claim warranty with the 10 year Australian warranty, which is amazing. But this still is a great microphone and I can use it even though I don't have, even though it doesn't record properly through the, the, the jack and I'll explain that in a second. So here's an image of the Rode Video Mic Pro. You're probably familiar at the very least with this microphone and, and again, it's a great microphone. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just think that people need to start looking at other microphones. I think the Video Mic Pro Plus is a phenomenal microphone, but for the price of 400 Australian dollars you can get this microphone here for 400 Australian dollars and get more features out of it and I think it's just a nicer mic now that is because this microphone is newer I don't know exactly when Rode released this I picked mine up in 2021 and I've been using it ever since what are the features people love about the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus well they love that it turns on and off with the power of the camera so instead of having to hold down the power button once you plug it into your hold on that's uh let's, let's uh let's do this So as you can see, when I turn the camera on to start filming, the microphone turns on by itself, which is, you know, it's great. It's one of the most beloved features of the Rode Video Mic Pro. Like everyone raved about how you turn your camera on, the microphone turns on at the same time. It's a, oh, this microphone does that too. You're not losing that feature out. I hope not, since again, especially being a newer microphone, you still have your manual audio gain level. So you can adjust the gain on the fly, on the microphone itself, instead of having to dive in to the camera's menu to adjust that. You can just adjust it all right here. This microphone has a high pass filter, just like the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which will help eliminate a bit of that that, that wind sound just by removing a lot of those low frequencies and only letting the higher frequencies pass which is typically what is found in your voice. It also has a high frequency boost to again help elevate those vocal levels where, where our voices typically sit around in the mid to high frequencies well again low frequencies being wind noise that you, you want to cut out. Now the microphone doesn't come with the dead cat but neither does the Video Mic Pro Plus. You have to buy the dead cat separately. It does come with a foam one which it does the job but I 
I, in my opinion, I think you should be getting a proper dead cat if you're going to be doing anything audio related outside. This microphone also has a negative 20 safety. If you've got the microphone set to one decibel and it's still way too loud, you can lower that decibel rating by 20, save your audio without it clipping, which is amazing. But that's not the only safety feature of the microphone. It also has the dual channel safety. So just like the Video Mic Pro Plus, it does have the left and right channel. It will record your right channel at normal volumes or your left channel. It's one of the channels is recorded at normal volume. And then the second channel, your safety channel is recording at 10 or negative 20 decibels lower. Let's say we're filming out and about and all of a sudden our fireworks go off or you're at the races, race car drives past or thunder clap just it, it, it's right next to you or something. Something loud that happens that will typically peak your audio. This has a safety channel so you can record a, a, a channel lower to be safety. In post you can instead of using the main channel you just use that safety channel and recover your audio. Save your audio which is very important. It is still featured in the Rode VideoMic NTG. Vpop that's really cool that the NTG has a lot of the same features as the Video Mic Pro Plus, but why should I should I upgrade or why should I get this over the Video Mic Pro Plus? Well, like I was saying before, the Video Mic Pro Plus costs 400 Australian dollars. This microphone here, also 400 Australian dollars. If you have a Video Mic Pro Plus, I'm gonna try and convince you to upgrade. And if you don't, again, just skip the Video Mic Pro Plus and just go straight to the NTG because it has extra features that you will use. Starting off with the fact that it's a USB-C microphone, that's just so much better than having micro USB. I've got USB-C on all of my devices, except for this thing. So it's super convenient just to have USB-C all of the things, I don't think I have any, any micro USB. I think everything's USB-C now, which is amazing. You just want the one cable for everything. You don't want to keep that micro USB just for your video mic. No, NTG, USB-C. Another great thing about the NTG is that it's just built a lot better. This is a very well-made, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice microphone. Look at how nice this microphone is just to hold and to feel. It, it's a, it feels premium. The Video Mic Pro Plus, it's actually like 70% plastic. My friend's got one, I've used it, and honestly, it feels cheap. I, for $400, I'm like, why is this so cheap feeling? I, I don't know. But the Video Mic Pro Plus is like 70% plastic. No joke, like the mount, is plastic like this here is a this here is a nice metal mount and what's actually really great about this mount is you can adjust the microphone to sit to sit further or back on your on your camera so, I mean that looks that looks a bit bit more cleaner but then if you want to just have it all the way out cl as close as possible you can you can have it somewhere in the middle you can do that with this microphone another great thing about this microphone that I've mentioned before in another video is that you can attach a wireless go to the mic to, to the under railing of this and you can boom it put that on a boom arm or a tripod stand and so if you have the wireless go or you're using like a wireless pro like I am, what you can do, what you do is plug that in and then you can just, just slide it in. And all of a sudden, if you've got a wireless mic, compact, just all built in right there. Well, not built in, but it's all, it's all self-sustained, self self-contained on the microphone. You don't have to have like this hanging off of it, like awkwardly flopping about. It's just a much better mic. But wait, there's more. Because this is USB-C, you can actually plug it into your computer or your iPad or your phone with a USB-C to whatever cable, USB-C to C, USB to C to Lightning, whatever, doesn't matter. You can use the USB-C port and use it as a USB mic. So if you don't have a USB mic and you wanna have, I don't know, really nice audio for interviews, for conferences, for Zoom calls, Skype, whatever. If you need a USB-C mic, this is a USB-C mic as well. I don't know what else to say guys, that's it. And that's it for me guys. Hope this was informative. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Mm, I really do believe in this microphone over the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I think it's just a much better mic and what you should 100% just, just go for it. Just, again, it's the same price, more features. I don't know what you want me to say. Okay, so hit that like button, smash it if you so desire, 2024 style. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Again, it's still Peter McKinnon style. <laughs>